Hey, y'all. I hope y'all fuck with the intro. But what we getting in today, Bronx drills that really happened. Okay, I don't be keeping up with these, with these drill, these Bronx niggas. They rap the same. They, hey, no, hey, 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 I'm not throwing no shade. Y'all sound the same, dead ass. Y'all niggas sound the same. And I be hearing y'all niggas be getting study on niggas when y'all be shooting niggas. Hey, let's get into it. Hey, subscribe, y'all, and grab to 200 subs. What up, gang? Back with the real. You know what's the deal. First off, rest in peace to all those that are mentioned in these lyrics in this video that have lost their lives. This is a video that you don't want to miss. Creating this video, I realized how grimy the Bronx really is. These dudes are rapping about hits like it's... Time out. If a nigga did something grimy first, and not grimy, you get to do it back. What are you talking about? It's nothing. And this video also is going to contain rare footage, so brace yourself for it. Other channels simply state the lyrics, but I've got news stories to give you the depth and detail. Let's chop it up and break it down. The first drill lyrics that actually happened references an incident mentioned in the video I did on K-Flock the Driller. Check it out if you haven't already, I'll link it in the description. In the song Flocker for Bro with Shy Watts and Swervo Flocker, Shy Watts drops the bars. Bro got clapped, he got put on a t-shirt. Bro got sent to the moon like DreamWorks. Damn! K Flock also referenced sending shots behind Ra in an earlier attempt on his life on the track. What y'all wanna do with C Blue? Ra he saw me, he ain't let it clap. Like, ask him how much I threw back. I'm the demon, I like to react. Spin through the rocks, trying to catch his a pack. Like, two shots gonna make him collapse. Ra Ra saw me, he ain't let it clap. Ask him how much I threw back. I'm a demon, I like to react. Spin through the Bronx, trying to catch us a pack. Two shots gonna make him collapse. Ramon Gil Madrano, also known as Rajiz, is the YG's affiliate that got dealt a gruesome fate. Just a week before he got hit up, he posted a video online directed at Savside Savage, K Flock, telling him to pop out because he's outside and ready for smoke. Unfortunately, he did get smoked while sitting in the back of an Uber while going to a record. Okay, sit, sit, sit down, children. So, so you telling niggas to pop outside a few later, you the nigga who got clapped. In studio, two dudes pulled up on a scooter and sent shots through his head and chest. Around 11.30 Sunday night, but... Nah, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> his homie set that nigga up. His homie, look. Look, I said this again. When you a game banger, you can't trust so many niggas. The streets don't got no love for you. Right, right. I don't know who you is, my nigga. Rest in peace to you, my nigga. What's a setup hit? Gotta be a setup hit. Had to be. By the corner of East 178th Street and Webster Avenue in the Bronx, police say two men pulled scooters up next to a cab Medrano was taking. Because think about that shit. If y'all niggas really want to be honest, on some real shit. On some on some real shit. How do a nigga know where you headed? Like, how do a nigga know where you ran? Or they stalking your IG, stalking you that bad? They really want you knocked off. Either to that, then your homies got something to do with that. Like, come on. To a recording studio. They then shot him in his head and chest. Next, we got lyrics from K-Flock himself in his song War with KD, where he says you ran... Look. That bum ass shit. And on Wu Lottie, get back. And then mentions the Wu Lottie Merkin again on his song, What Y'all Wanna Do with C Blue. He ran and got tripped out his shoes, spin through the hill like what y'all wanna do. This incident was one that twists your stomach. Wu Lottie was another member of the YG's close to K Flock's cousin and op, D Thang. Wu Lottie was caught lacking and poked up. Allegedly, the word is that Wu Lottie and some other YG's were in Harlem chilling when a whip pulled up and their ops hopped out armed with knives. Wu Lottie and his homies dipped, but Lottie tripped and fell, and they did a number on bro. Whoa! <laughs> Yo! How do you trip? What is you doing? Bro, 
Lottie was poked up so many times, his chances of making it were slim. I found the video of when they ran down on Lottie and he fell and they began putting in that work. Stop running, Wu! Stop running, Wu! Stop running, Wu, Lottie! Woo. I don't need... Wu! They ran down on Lottie and he fell and they began putting in that work. Stop running, Wu! Stop running, Wu! Stop running, Wu, Lottie! I don't even want to imagine his thoughts as he felt those stabs and seen dudes knifing him up. That's that's not cool. Listen, we wildin' in these streets, we doing this for Wu Lottie. The next op that I catch gon' yell who shot me. The next incident was mentioned in the bars. Ops see me, they run. Ty Benji got smoked with a gun. On the track, Gra Gra by Sha G's and Ty Breach. Ops see me, they run. Ty Benji got smoked with a gun. According to the police reports, Ty Benji was in the back seat of a livery cab near the corner of East 163rd Street and Tenton Avenue in Foxhurst, just two blocks from where he lived. When a white BMW rolled up and started yelling his direction, someone in the BMW pulled out a blicky and opened fire allegedly, headshot and tie before skirting off. Ty would be rushed to the Lincoln Medical Center where he succumbed to his wounds four days later. Damn. The streets don't give a damn about gender. The next one is just sad because it seems she got did dirty by her own friends. The receiver of this alleged betrayal is Delilah. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie, I don't know who this Lila girl is. She looking like a, I want to call her a groupie. Nah, this is not looking right. And and and, and this this be happening a lot. B girls be trying to fit in with all the hood niggas. Hunt, ba baby, any, any girl watching this? Yes, you. You not with the gang. The gang don't fuck with you. The niggas want to hit. They don't want you. Anything you claiming, th th this and that, wh whatever, they don't rock with you. You are by yourself. You're by yourself, nigga. You by yourself, nigga. Yes, you, nigga. You, you by yourself, nigga. You. <laughs> In the track D&D by Sha E.K. featuring Blockwork, Sha E.K. came through sliding on the beat with the lyrics, there's a whole lot of ops I can smoke, but I'd rather just smoke on Delilah. Just the fact that she's a female would just hit different. The lyrics... Nigga, no, bro, bro, how do it hit different? When niggas be saying other niggas' names, now you now hit different when a nigga say smoking on a girl, bro? Come on, my nigga. Come on, my nigga. How is it different, nigga? She's a human just like you. How is it different, bro? Huh? Tell the tale of her end in what authorities call a dingy abandoned apartment just 10 blocks from where she grew up. She was critically injured with a headshot in an empty third floor apartment on Hull Ave in Norwood and passed away at Jacoby Medical Center. Cries from a family and a community in pain rang through this block after the death of 20 year old Delilah Vasquez who was found shot in the head in this apartment building. Now candles and pictures lay here in honor of her memory. Police reports state that several people all believed to be black Blood members left the building after the incident and a gun was tossed out the window. Reports also state that the apartment was a well-known gang hideout and Delilah was an associate of theirs. According to authorities, turns out Delilah was living that lifestyle. She was arrested six times at her most recent being on December 2nd, 2020, when cops charged her with aggravated harassment for threatening a woman and her children. What's more sad about her case is that her mother believes it was her own friends that murked her. I feel like I... No, don't, bro, come on, don't show... No, I gotta... Bro, I gotta skip this. Don't show a mom crying. I don't like to see this. How do you post that? Like, bro, come on. Any friends in this lifestyle, it's a cold world. You think that the events that these lyrics are based on couldn't get any more chilling, but these last two are gonna top the list. In his track, Warzone, yes. Like, it's like this. If I had, I got respect. If I ever had ops, I got respect for my ops. I won't, I won't drag someone mom in it or have someone mom, like, like, come on, like, like, come on, let me know some real shit. You can have hate against a nigga, like, you can be like, when I catch you, I'm gonna smoke you. Don't put they mom involved. You look, then you look dumb. Like, come on. Then you look dumb. You look dumb.
G's, rap the lyrics, Nova got stomped like Smelly got poked. Then again mentions Smelly stabbing in his tracks, Dead Lokes. With the lyrics, I know an op that got poked in his belly. I'm talking about Smelly. I know an op that got poked in his belly. Why that said, bitch, I'm talking about Smelly. Side note. Yes, G's was close homies with the fellow slain YG's member, Raji's. I have the ability to help people. Bro, you have the ability. Escape reality. You have the ability to shut the fuck up. At least for the. Man. The first person mentioned, Noah, got his life taken away in one of the worst ways. He was literally stomped out until he lost his life. In April 2012, Moses Noah Baller, Laura, was brutally beaten. As the story goes, a group of YGs from Morris Ave, located across the street from Cortland and Patterson Houses, got into it about who was the most active in the streets. One thing led to the next, and the end result was an argument which triggered their next decision to go to Cortland Ave and see who puts in the most work. Yeah, you heard me right. This generation of hood dudes don't know how to act in the... They say generation of hood dudes as it was all back then. I won't lie. I think the nigga was young. But I won't lie, they fucked up. Like, damn. These streets, man, it's like they're playing a real life game of GTA. But they decided what they decided and went out in the middle of the night for the smoke. Unfortunately, the target they found was a small framed 16 year old Noah Baller kicking it outside alone. Sensing the danger, he tried to dip, but he was hunted down. And by the police reports, they say it was 16 to 20 people that pummeled him until he was lifeless. The official cause of his demise was listed as injuries to the head and neck. One girl that was with him before everything played out said when she got the call and arrived at the scene, Noah was laying on the floor with his head busted. I can only hope he was unconscious early in the beatdown and didn't have to experience all the pain. R.I.P. And here we are, down to the last name mentioned by Yes G's, Smelly. Doesn't look like he had any- But it's like, I, I won't lie, the, hey, the 50 year old kid, the kid who got stumped out, he did not choose that life. Maybe he did. I can't, yeah, maybe he chose that life. It's like, this a life you want to live? This what you going to get? Like, this is, like, this the life you want, you going to get in return. The gang ties, does it? Well, ops like Yes G's might think a bit differently. Reports paint a sad end for the 17-year-old high school graduate that was said to be planning on attending Boricua College in two weeks to pursue becoming a police officer. Ironic, isn't it? Wish he got the chance to pursue his dream down the right path. As Merlin Toribio, also known as Smelly, was knifed until lifeless in front of his building on East 182nd Street near Valentine Ave in Fordham Heights in 2016. Smelly and a friend allegedly linked up with a guy named Sanchez to sell him a mini dirt bike. Smelly was the plug for the Lolo, the bike worth around $300. Hey, see, hey, this only me. Hey, hey, y'all niggas get to record this. Yo. And, yo, this is me, and this no racist. YouTube, don't take this down. This is not racist. I would never buy nothing off no black person. No. No. I know how you is. <laughs> no. 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 Not a black person. No. Plus, was sold to Sanchez for $80, but things went downhill after the successful sale. Reports state that minutes after, Smelly doubled back with his homies and demanded the motorcycle returned. Sanchez wasn't going to just be bullied and stood his ground. Smelly began throwing hands, but Sanchez, probably realizing he was outnumbered, pulled a knife and plunged it into Smelly's chest. He was rushed to St. Barnabas Hospital, but chances to save his life failed. Sanchez was apprehended for the hit. Just like that... Like, bro, you look so... Grown, look so grown. That's a kid, bro. He can't even get his life back because of you. You could have just gave the nigga his money back, bro. That is, oh my god. All these so, all these kids, they're not even grown ups. These are kids. These niggas like these are kids. Oh man. The fact that this nigga, he look, he look like he's my age. He look like he's my age. Big bro. Not gonna lie. I hope you rot. You gotta, you need to rot. Like, a knife? You could've just gave the dude his money back. Like, 
That's why I don't buy nothing off. This is why I don't buy a lot. Y'all gotta understand, as a black bro, a black person, a black person will tell you, you don't buy nothing off of. You don't. You don't. It's not racist. It's not racist. We know how each other is. Not me, but still, you gotta watch out for them people. Watch out. Both of their lives was messed up. That's the streets for you these days. It takes and takes and takes and only gives blood and pain. Smelly was a close homie to Bronx rapper Lord TJ. And ever since his passing, his music is filled with references to his slain homie. Even releasing a tribute song about the hole in his heart that is left behind. It's sad that everyone pointed out in these lyrics are young and haven't even lived long. This is crazy. That other nigga. You wrong, bro. You g big bro. Big bro. You're grown. How you like the kid? Like, if you had dreams, like, I salute that man. Like, I salute, I salute that nigga. He had a dream. He wanted his money back and went downhill. It should never go that far. It should never go that far, bro. It could never go that far. It why do it gotta go that far? Why? Like, bro. Like, bro, I was about to say it, but you two would take down this video. I ain't, I ain't gonna say the word. Some black people just ignorant. I said it, bro. Like, and that will always happen. Like, that will always happen. But this is your boy Shy Reacts. One, I hope y'all like that video. Till then. We in the Bronx. Bronx, Bronx, Bronx. <laughs> Плачет и опять скучает о нем Не звонит и пусть